Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sean John, your Moving Biz CEO. Welcome to the channel. Uh, just want to let you guys know if you ordered a book, uh, for a lot of you, you've been asking me about the book. So if you want to get a copy of the book, write the word book in the comments. Uh, the book is just a personal finance book where uh, I teach you how to use money to make money, how to get away from the traditional rules of money, and how to be successful. Uh, if it's something you need, just write book in the comment. If you know someone who could benefit from this, the book's only 25 bucks, small investment. Write the word book in the comments and you can get a copy out to you. Uh, today, we're going to jump into this topic. Uh, I know it's approaching the holiday season, which means that we are in, we're, we're pretty much halfway through the third, the fourth quarter of the year, right? And so for, for movers, it, things kind of tend to slow down because you're around the holiday season and now the dollar is focused more on family and, and gifts and, and holidays and things like that. That's the theme for us in real life. That's the theme for the dollar. And so, but we know that as the calendar changes, uh, people are going to leave the holiday spirit behind, get back into the everyday life grind. And that's when they're going to need you, the mover, to come and move them. Uh, because moving is not easy. And that's why we make the big bucks, right? So we're going to talk about three things that you could do. You can already see them over my shoulder. Three things that you could do uh, that'll help your business be more prepared to uh, grow and be successful, but not just successful. I'm talking about 10x success uh, as you build and grow and hopefully scale your business in 2024. Yes, it can happen that quickly and you can do it and I'll give you a cheat sheet, right? Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Stay for a while if you don't mind. Watch all the free videos you would like and uh, let's jump into it, right? So. I wrote down just a couple of three things that'll, that'll help your business as you go into the first quarter of 2024, uh, because you gotta have some things right about business in order for you to be successful as you work to grow your business. We start off a lot of times, uh, I talked about this in a coaching call last night, one-on-one uh, uh, -on -one coaching call, where we start off a lot of times, we, we wanna build a business because we know how to do the thing, right? Uh, whatever that thing is, and in this case, it's moving. So we, we feel like we can start a business because we know how to move. And very, very quickly we find out we know how to move. Yes, we know the skill. Yes, what we don't know is the business, right? We don't know how to get the phones ringing. We don't know how to get customers to say yes, right? We don't know how to make extra money on top of the moves, right? Compounding uh, the moves to pay you uh, above and beyond what you're asking for, right? There are a lot of things that we don't know. We have to learn those things. So this channel is kind of a cheat sheet for anybody who's got a service business. This could really help you. Uh, so let's go really, really quickly. Number one, uh, you've got to get your marketing strategy down. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, it, it can mean a few things. just depends on uh, where, which direction you want your business to go in, right? So, or grow in, that's a better word. Uh, you've got to figure out uh, who, am I, who am I looking for? Who are my customers? Define your customers. Who are they? What do they look like? What, what do they like to drink? What do, what do they like to wear? You know, wh where are they during this time of the day? What, what are they doing? What are they not doing? Or what are their ages? What social media platform are they mostly on? Am I talking to women? Am I talking to more men? Who am I talking to? And so you've got to define who your customer is so that you can get into strategic marketing or target marketing where you're not wasting a bunch of time and a bunch of money because in business time is money. You're not wasting a bunch of time and money uh, looking for your customers in areas where the customers are not premium, cannot afford you, cannot pay you, and uh, they're just going to complain about your services. So you're charging you're, you're, you're targeting the wrong people and that's why your business is failing. And if you continue that way, it's going to fail. Uh, so you got to get strategic about your marketing. What's your marketing strategy for the first four months of the year? See how that works. Get the numbers, get the data. Is it working? Is it not working? Can we do something better? Can we pivot, move in a different direction and then move into something different if you need to, or if that marketing plan is working, uh, add fuel to add fuel to the fire, right? You hit the hit the accelerator, go faster, go bigger, go wider. So think about that. What's your marketing strategy? Have that down, uh, so that's not something you're trying to figure out when the phones are ringing, right? So customer experience, right? So what what are your customers saying about your business? Are you capturing that information? 
Are you doing on-site surveys, three to five questions, just asking the customers, what do they think about your business? Let the customers, people like to grade others, right? Let them grade you. It's private. It's only going to go back to you and it's going to benefit your company. It's a private review filter in the house, right? So work on your customer experience. Hey, here are five things that we guarantee with our services. No other companies offer that. Are you thinking about those things? That's going to be a part of your customer experience because you want to take them from uh, just a normal everyday customer experience with a good company to something extravagant where it's it's customer uh, uh, just just uh, how can I say it? It's customer uh, not appreciation. There's another word I use, uh, and I know you guys are probably thinking it. I say it all the time. Uh, customer excellence. You could use that, uh, but we want to raise our customers' expectations. And then we want to meet those expectations and then surpass them, right? Uh, so think about that when you think, and I can't think of a word, we'll just go with excellence, but customer expectations, experience, excellence, right? Amazement, that's the word I was thinking about. You want, to, you want your customers to walk away amazed at the service you provided. Last one, uh, customer retention, what is that? How do I keep my customers? Yes, they did one move with us. Right. But I always teach you that one move should that move should never end with that move only before you leave the customer's house. You should have another move set up. Right. And if you're not doing that, you're missing out. One job should always lead to another. Let that let that sink in and always remember that customer retention means that these customers are now loyal. They're now fans of my brand. Right. They're fans of Jumping Jack Movers. They love Jumping Jack Movers. They wouldn't dare go anywhere else besides Jumping Jack Movers. Right. Uh, and so now that you've got the customer's attention, you want to retain the customer through customer retention. So what are you working on to make sure that your customer does not leave your brand, that your customer is loyal and faithful to you and that your customer is not looking around to be with other companies. Right. Not, not, not thinking about other companies when they come across friends and family who need to move. They're only thinking about you. So customer retention simply means how do I keep my customers loyal to me, right? Uh, you think about all these companies got these loyalty rewards and whatnot, then you can use that. Think about how to keep your customers loyal to you. So that's all I got for you today. Going into 2024, work on your marketing, work on your customer amazement experience, work on your customer retention. I guarantee if you do those three things right, you're going to win in business, you're going to be successful, and you're going to make a lot of money. In fact, I want to go ahead and congratulate you because if you do these three things, I want to be the first to congratulate you and say congratulations on next level in your business, taking it to the next level, growing your business, scaling your business, and I promise you, you're going to have massive, massive success. Your life's going to change. It's never going to be the same. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up if you want to join the channel. I thank you. I appreciate you. If you need coaching or if you want to get into the live training coming up in December, I'll drop a couple of links. See you there. Peace.